Need a goal, I think. Uh, they're five points away from it, so they actually need a goal to have that record-winning score. And uh, David Williams is on the 50-metre line. If he kicks it, uh, oh, he's hooked it. Now it starts to float back, but there's the siren. There's the siren to end a sensational victory, this by the Melbourne side. They're going to be a real force in this year's finals. Mel Cordy, Cordy's hand pass coming out towards Bolton. Bolton has time to steady, puts it up towards the forward area, off the hands of the pack. Melbourne's there, final siren as Hughes got it across to Healy and the final scores. 10, 13, 73 Swans, Melbourne 21, 23, 149. The long kick taken by Swell, plays on. Langford comes out with the ball, drives it down. Buccano a trip. Buccano is free kick. Siren sounds. There's the siren, and he's got a kick from 55 metres out. I don't think that's 15, 15 metres. 15. What pressure on Gary Bacanara. He is a champion. He is a great kick. If he kicks this goal, Hawthorne are in the grand final. The umpires haven't heard it yet, I don't think. If he kicks this goal, Hawthorne are in the 1987 grand final. If he misses, Melbourne are in. There's the kick. It's a goal. It's a goal. Hawthorne have won with a kick after the siren. What a performance. A magnificent performance this by Hawthorne. The chance, he fists it on, down towards the half forward line. Malaxos picks it up with his left foot, 10 seconds remaining. The shot by Redstead is off target at one point, and that will be the decider. There it is, victory to Melbourne by two points. Stretch over the top, nine seconds. Yates has it. Melbourne will play Carlton for the right to beat Hawthorne. Wilson was pushed in the back. No. Here's the siren. Collingwood will go and get a free kick. It matters not. <laughs> the umpire has given a free kick. Might be going to Sporting, is it? Time ticking down. Just about siren time. And there it is. First time since 1964, and the scenes the exact reverse from those here 12 months to the day. Scrambles it through for a minor score. We're down to seven seconds. That will be the last action of the grand final. Hawthorne have won this premiership. Wait for the siren now. Wait for the reactions around this ground. Chris Mew has the ball. We're out of time in the grand final. Hawthorne, their seventh premiership in emphatic style this afternoon. Sporting's been outstanding. This is Graham Wright. Eventually it'll go to the line and Wilson quite happy to see it to the line as the time clock ticks away. Siren about to go. Great performance, Melbourne. As we see David Blow. There it is. He was behind, he put himself in front, but he was just that little bit too far under the ball, Sean White. Hamilton's statistics read pretty well, 18 kicks and 12 marks. He's kicked one goal from 25 metres, Hamilton. Straight through to second. Only seconds remaining. He centres it to half forward, dunks to the fly, couldn't take the mark. Ops gets a hurried kick, only as far as tuck. Reads his way through, kicks wide to the left, it goes over the line, and there's the siren, the Deans are through. <laughs> the options decides to bang it to Grinter, Bennett in the front spot, Brennan misses it, Grinter, will this be number four for the turn? It is. Four to Grinter, in the last quarter, and it's 15, 10 to 19, 16. And I can't emphasise enough. I mean, that just shows. Eight goals in a final.
exactly about the last kick of the day too, Robert. Well, this would have to be a, uh, a record at this stage because it's the first time that uh, we've had a final involving fifth and sixth, so Djakovic, whatever he sets, the siren is sounded, so the difference at the moment is 32 points. Djakovic from 45 metres. Beautiful kick. Oh, it's a goal. Started in defence. Jim Northey was forced to move him into attack. Djakovic was forced from the field with injury. He kicks it goal and gets it. Cutlinson gets the goal. There's the siren. Melbourne's out. The Eagles live to fight another day in the preliminary final against Geelong. But in the end, the West Coast far too accomplished. And they won the match 17. Just nine seconds left. Madden slaps it out. Mitchell in trouble. Williams gets it through. Gleeson looked like a throw. Finishes up with Mitchell. Siren beats him. He hit the post anyway. It should be no score. They've given the score. Matters will win this stage. Well, what a thumping. At half forward. Phoebe is there, but he's forced to apply the tackle on Danny Southern. That's Stephen Phoebe. As the seconds tick away. A magnificent win coming up for the Melbourne Football Club. There's the siren. The Demons are through to the preliminary final. Big, big winners. Turnbull approaching centre-half forward. Bombs away to the goal line. It's a mark taken by Ball, about three metres out directly in front, and this will be the last kick of the day. He will get his second goal, there's the siren. So it's all over for season 1994, Ball gets the goal, and the Demons have been sunk at the whacker. Well, it's all over by the shouting, not too much of that left in the quarter. Big pack of players on centre wing, Woe Woden. One bounce, two bounces, Lyndon Stevens gives chase. Woe Woden's kick up the half forward and Farmer could take the mark. But appropriately, he's got the footy as the siren goes. Melbourne, in its first finals appearance since 1984, won. That's not Joe Goodnick, but a Joe Goodnick look alike. And they'll be singing long and hard in the club rooms tonight. Winmar. Yeah, free kick, didn't have the ball when he was dragged down by Johnston. Harvey, just seven seconds left. Centre wing, Jones drops the mark. St Kilda's going to finish their season right here. And the Demons advance to the preliminary final. <laughs> Last say in this match. North have had some great players tonight, but nobody better than this man. Well, Neitz has been in red-hot form. And he has closed him completely. Mickey kicks to centre wing. North are nearly there. They are there. The last Saturday in September. He's a good sport, Gary Lyon. It's clean possession, dying seconds. Feeds it in, looking for Woe Woden, thumped out of there by Fletcher. Spills across the back to Manton. Wait for the siren, the ball on the outer side. Great come from behind, victory Melbourne. D is for Delighted. They were down by over 30 points, and they have prevailed. Well, that's what it looked like from here as Neitz takes a diving defensive mark across half-back. He'll steady to the outer side. Melbourne through Daniel Ward has the last kick and the Demons are back in a finals race. Back in the grand final. Their first since 1988 and a chance to win their first flag since 1964. We are almost there. 
You could argue forever who is the best team of all time, but as Jason said earlier, this is the best season we've ever seen. Kevin Sheedy joins Dick Reynolds as the most successful club in over 100 years at this famous club. And they have won their 16th Premiership. And is there a better story than James Heard? Well, maybe Barnsley and Wallace get close. He kicks goals, so he does the job of two players. Yeah, they haven't been able to find anyone to stop him, the Kangaroos. He had 33 possessions when they met last time. It's all over. It's all over for the Kangaroos, that is. Melbourne march on to next week. They'll play Adelaide. 18, 14, 122. Defeating the Kangaroos. This to put the game beyond doubt for the Adelaide Crows. From outside 50. A thumping kick. There's the siren. Adelaide, a remarkable victory. Have come from behind to defeat Melbourne in what's been one of the great finals matches. They led by 40 points at quarter time, but trailed by 29 points deep into the third quarter. Wellman chips it out wide. Heard and Broadbury to go to man. James Heard, what a mark. We reckon that's probably just about to do it. Oh, the man, James Heard, he's done it. What timing. What timing. Supreme timing from a supreme player. But what a match. What an extraordinary match. Back on the wing. Just see the big push he gave beforehand. Just pushed the ball forward. Hallelujah. <laughs> Siren sounds. A resounding win. For the Cats, 18, 8, 1, 16. And they set up a semi-final clash with the Sydney Swans. It's barely there. Well, the Demons will go on and play the loser of tomorrow's match between the Crows and the Dockers. Well, 2006, unfortunately, is over for the Saints. Going through the motions, Mundy, Black, there it is, on their third attempt, Fremantle with a final, they're into the preliminary final, and who knows how far they'll go in 2006. The Dogs and the Tigers in recent years the last couple of years and now Melbourne might be the fairy tale story of September it's been their night Melbourne have beaten Geelong in the elimination final on their way to the semi Legends, what he's done in the last two weeks, considering how long he's been out with the foot injury, the toe injury. Yeah, I thought, I thought he was unbelievable last week. I thought might be just a little bit sore this week. Lingy, sometimes second up, <laughs> he's been superb. Just wait for this. Wait for this now. Viney went to Brayshaw by hand. Brayshaw went and found it on the ground, gave it to Jones. It. And that's out of bounds, but there's your siren. The West Coast Eagles are through to the 2018 Grand Final. There's incredible excitement around. What's the come? It's a nice ball. Swarko. Releases the kick. The siren will sound. And it's Melbourne. Straight through to a brilliant final. The excitement, the energy, the expectation. This could be the year for the Melbourne Footy Club. Remarkably, you're in a grand final.
And the Demons move a step closer to a grand new flag. Melbourne into its first grand final in 21 long years. And if he kicks this, it'll be their biggest win ever in any of their grand finals. Tom McDonald times the ticking. Every heart is beating true and blue for the red and blue. After 57 long years, the Demons are premiers in 2021. Extraordinary stuff. And McDonald kicks the goal. Twelve seconds and ticking. Hunt again. Ran into the brick wall. It is Blakey. Parker been terrific as he always is. And Gulden takes the mark. Sydney are going to win. They're into a prelim final. Stand up, Brisbane fans. The MCG hoodoo gone. The finals hoodoo gone. And your team are through to a prelim final. There it is.